James Morrison, James Social Cycling. Hope you're all well. Um, just a quick video today. I've been meaning to uh, do a review on my Candy 3s. So the Candy 3s are from Kank Brothers, as you can see. The Candy 3s, they offer three different finishes. So you've got blue, red, and black obviously I've gone for the black although as you can see they've been well used and these just so you know that this review the purchase was um, April 2020 so nearly a year so I think it's uh, always good to make sure you're confident with the product from that point so obviously we've looking at a euro price of 139.99 i'll actually stick the price in here of what i paid i bought them from wiggle and as you can see some details here which is um so they are durable alloy body durable cast steel wings snap-on traction pad technology to customize and optimize the shoe pedal interface which comes included ribbed body for the better transaction when unclipped and hex alloy end cap for enhanced durability four-sided entry superior mud shedding and customizable float and release angle premium bearings a double seal system so not too bad on the details so they do actually offer as you can see here so you've got the double entry and also the gripping and then you've got the four way so this spins around backwards and forwards so it's not always fixed in one position which is good hopefully the wind's not causing too much issues guys and girls so the specs as you can see it's a body material it's a 6061 t6 aluminium which gives it a really nice solid feel. The cleats are a premium brass cleat with shims, which come included. Hex alloy end cap. And the inner bearings type are Igos LL Glide bearings. Max rider weight, no restriction, which is lucky for me, eh? <laughs> Outer bearing type, Enduro Max cartridge bearings. Q factor 52, you've got release angle is 15 and 20 degrees, so obviously giving you a little bit more stability from the 15 to 20, which isn't bad. Uh, one of the reasons why I like the sound of them was obviously because of that. And forged SCM 435 chromoly steel, that's the spindle material, and spindle material is 300 series stainless steel. Warranty is five year warranty, unbelievable is that. And wing material is 17 4 pH stainless. Now I bumped over the weight because I thought what we'd do is we'd bring in the weighing scales. Um, I think they've done them out some justice here, but let's have a look. So they're saying on the website 340 grams. Ooh, a little bit lighter. Maybe that's because some of the paint's come off. <clears throat> hey. So you've got the standard and the easy cleats. So you do have a six degree float and you have either a 10 release as well or a 15 release on those all right and again the float the float for me was key I was using the Shimano SPDs and um, they weren't actually helping my knees quite village in it anyway so just to finish off why did I go for the Candy 3s? Well, the Candy 3s I went for because of they were offering a lot more stability, as in a lot more foot placement here on the pedals when on the bike. Um, I was having knee trouble with the uh, SPDs, Shimano SPDs. There was no, there was no float with those. They so basically lock in. You're on the bike, and the only thing that was contact, which I thought was just the cleat, to be honest. So it was causing me some discomfort, okay? 
there are a few issues when you first start using them. If you've been using SPDs, clipping into these, clipping into these are a lot different. So, but once you get used to that, it's not a problem. Once you get used to anything, it's not a problem. Obviously the first time for everything. The good thing about these is that they roll around, as I said earlier, so you can clip in. And as, as saying, you've got the six, six degree float on this and you've got a 15 and a 10 degree um, unclip, which just gives you that bit more stability. If, you, if you're pedaling hard and you're not used to it, you could unclip without knowing, but it does offer. I use on the 10 because I'm fine with them, um, but they are, to me, they're a fantastic pedal. I think I spent about probably 80, 85 quid on them, but they do offer uh, a Candy 2 and a Candy 1. The Candy 1 is basically, will look exactly the same as that, but the body is plastic. So if you wanted to try them out, you could try them out by using a cheaper version, which I didn't bother doing. I just went for it and they work fine, all right? So the other problem is, and I'm not gonna say that this is, uh, this is the do all to end all for if you've got bad knees because the problem is is you've obviously got saddle and you've obviously got your cleat positioning as well. So the wildlife around here is really noisy. The wind stopped, but the wildlife is really noisy. So um, yeah, so I'd recommend them, okay? It's a very simple review. I'm not gonna go into any science. I'm basically saying that I suffered with a bad knee um, and when I changed to these, pretty much nigh on automatic, I was fine with these. Yes, I had to play around with the cleats, but they're a great product. SPDs are giving you any trouble. Six degree float, 15 to 10, unclip. All right, I recommend them. There's a link down to uh, Crank Rubber's website where it'll show all the pedals on offer. Um, some different colors and uh, and so on all right so thank you very much for your time I appreciate it if you found this video useful please consider buying me a coffee there is a link down in the description below and uh, for more content obviously give me a sub is uh, another review and um, yeah don't forget to like comment and I'll see you on the road very soon